Good afternoon. Hello, that's uh, Leonard Schmiggy. Sorry. Um, as you've gathered by now, this, this issue is a lot more serious than just a simple sidewalk vacation, including the city attorney, John Wolf, came in and tried to give you a little pep talk about how you could disregard the constitutional issues and simply vote on uh, the other merits. Uh, I'm here to tell you that you can't. You're the first cog in this wheel and this particular situation that can protect our U.S. Constitution. And I'm sure I would expect, um, as Americans, that you would take that, the task of protecting our Constitution seriously. The only reason they want to vacate this sidewalk, the one and only reason, is to allow for the Baywalk management to arrest people that they don't want there, to cite them for trespassing and then arrest them, whether that be panhandlers or protesters. Now, since this sidewalk is explicitly a place where protesters have met many times over the years, and for this vacation to be explicitly so that they can get arrested, it's, there's no gray area about the constitutionality. Furthermore, this is the first step in what could be a very horrendous uh, precedent. What happened, the protesters will go wherever the most pedestrian traffic is. In, this, in, in the last few years, they were protesting the the multiple lies that got us into the war in Iraq, and they were expressing the tr truth to the public. For those that listened or, or knew, uh, they knew the, the protesters were on the right track in this particular instance. But even if they weren't, they have the right to free speech. So if that place is not conducive for, for protesting, they'll go to the next best place. Then what? We're going to vacate that sidewalk too, and then the next one, and then the next one? And then what, what are you left with? So if you have a a, something that you want to protest against or something that you want to bring to the attention of the public, the only place you'll be able to do it from is your own yard, right? Because you call the newspaper up, and if they choose not to publish your story, then you'll have no other outlet. This is a very, very dangerous precedent to set here today. So I would uh, respectfully ask you to, to make sure that you at least force the city council into a supermajority position and uh, do not vote to approve the vacation of this sidewalk. Thank you. Thank you.